Assalamu alaikum. Hello, welcome to my channel. Thank you for clicking in. If this is your first time, you are welcome. And to my returnees, thank you guys so much for always coming back. I really appreciate. You guys are the best. Thanks so much. And if this is your first time here, you are welcome. And by name, Resi Cat. Here in this channel, I talk about my life journey in Saudi Arabia. Please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll be notified. And to all my Christian YouTube family, Happy Christmas. Wish you all, may you all live to witness many more of this great day in good health and words. Happy Christmas to you all and New Year in advance. So guys, in today's video, I'll be talking about how we should do away with negativity, like from with negative people, especially we working here in Saudi Arabia, because negative people have really affected me when I newly came in here, and it was only God that helped me through it. So I decided to make this video so that to to tell people out there, once you are ready to work here, stay away from negative people. Because if you don't stay away from them, they will plant fear in you that <laughs> that may take you a long way before, if not just with the mercy of God, to overcome it. Yes, like walking here, there are many negative things you will hear from people out there that, and everything is just a lie, which is just a mere things that is not happening. But you being a first timer, if they are telling you, you will be scared of it that. Maybe you've put, in your, you've put your life in risk coming here to work, yes. Like when, I, when I'm coming here to work, I never told any of my, even it's just few of my family that knew about it. I, I did not tell any friends. None of my friends knew about me coming here. It was after some months. Some of them were now complaining, now why is your number not going through again? In Facebook, why chatting on Facebook at times in Insta, uh, on Instagram? That I have to tell them that I'm not in Nigeria again. That is why my number is no longer going to, uh, now available. So when I did, I could remember there is one of my male friend that told me when I told him that ah, I'm now in Saudi Arabia, he was like, "What doing was?" <laughs> I told him I'm working as a home nurse here. He said, "No." No, no, no. How how will you make me to believe that? Like, he was thinking that that is not possible. That, ah, they've taken you to go and do prostitution. <laughs> go and do prostitution in Saudi Arabia. I was like, no, 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 it's not. It's nothing like that. She said, ah, you've not known. It's because you are new. Before you know, now they will just allow you to stay for a while. Before you start this, you start the work. I was like, I was so scared that. What have I getting myself into? Because I've never had a sword before. Like, I, I was so scared. He was telling me that, ah, very soon they'll be taking you from one city to another. That is the work you'll be doing. They just leave you for now. I told him so that maybe you should understand their language, all those stuff. I was so scared. And again, I could remember a friend once told me that, ah, why do you have to go to, uh, among God, the... Uh, country why do you have to go to saudi arabia don't you know how risk saudi arabia is like like those people may harm we harm me i was like how that maybe that they will take me to the hospital <laughs> i'm laughing that they will take me to the hospital and they may take something from my system before i know maybe my kidney my intestine all those stuff that before you know I'll be falling sick and they will deport me back to my country. And at the end, it may, I, I may die. Like people, all negative things were coming from people. And this thing really leave a fear on me. I was so scared. Like, I did not hear of all those things before coming here. Why, where is all this coming from? I was so scared that maybe truly, maybe it's because I'm new. Maybe I will still, all these things they are telling me may come to reality. 
and this thing really uh, planted fear on me i was so scared that what have i getting myself into all in the name of, <laughs> i'm trying to look for money and not knowing that all those things were just mere lies it's just a lie it's not easy i i remember if someone once told me again that ah you are working in saudi arabia when i told uh, her that i'm okay that i'm not facing any facing so much challenge she was like oh so maybe your box uh, your box is you are satisfying your box in bed i was like where is those things coming from nothing like that you know but some people you may be telling them that no 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 what you're saying now is not true but they won't believe you if not just within you and your god that know uh, the truth the truth about uh, everything what i'm trying to point out here in this video is this once you are ready to work here in saudi arabia and you don't want to just stay away from negative people once you tell someone that okay i'm working in saudi arabia and he's trying to tell you negative things about saudi arabia say so just say okay try to avoid such people like me in my own case there are some people that i stop telling people even if you hear it from someone else you are chatting me up on facebook i, I had you yes once i'm saying you are now going far to bring out your own uh, negative opinion i'll just tell you that later we will chat that is the end i may i might end up blocking you from my page because i don't want people planting fear on me like this thing really affected me for some months i was so scared and i couldn't even tell my parents because if i should tell them that one too may leave fear on them that hey you see we told you not to go in the first place and that that is i don't want to leave fear on them but girls within me and myself i was so scared as at times at night i'll be i have sleepless night because i'm thinking that god all this thing i'm hearing let them not happen to me and i was so scared that what if this happened now what will i do what who, who will i run to many th things many uh, negative things people are saying now there once you let them know that you are working in saudi arabia i could remember some someone was told me that ah you are now a slave <laughs> <laughs> ah, you're working in Saudi Arabia, you're now a slave. What is, I'm not a slave. Like, the negative thing, people will be saying it. I was trying to even point out that I'm not a slave. What, do you know the meaning of slave? Even though, working here, even as a house help, doesn't have anything related to slave. If I'm slave, I have no opinion of myself or decide for myself on what to do or what not to do. But here, you are working. We are being paid for our service at the end of the month. If I'm a slave, they won't pay me anything. I have to do whatever they ask me to do. Even working here and working on contracts now. If I feel like, okay, I'm no more interested in this, I'll refund back their money. Then I'll go back to my country. That is just it. It's not a slave thing. Like, not many negative things, people will be saying it out there. If you are ready to work here in Saudi Arabia, just stay away from negative people. That is the only way you will be working and focus on your work because once you have been with them, there is not any single movement that they will say anything positive. It's always negative, which is very bad. Once you are ready to work here, don't listen to what people are saying out there. Don't let them to deceive you or put fear in you. It's not easy. Fine. The, the only hard uh, part of it is that you will always work. That is it. But all those negative things, they will take something from your body, all those stuff. It's a lie. Or they will take you out for prostitution. No. Even if it's happening, it's just few of them. And I've not even, I've not noticed uh, such or had it from someone. I don't know about that. Maybe it might be happening. I can't just say it's not happening. Maybe it's happening, but I've not come across anyone that talk about it. Don't let people to put in fear in you. Yeah, because the fear the trauma is not good at all like i could remember back then those people at times they would ask me are you sick i said no but i'm not always comfortable because i'm scared i don't know i don't know what to do like all the things i'm hearing now about saudi arabia could they, could they, uh, maybe is it true or is it real i could they would ask me at times have you eaten for me to eat at times is problem because i'm scared about what people are telling me just Try and stay away from negativity. Stay away from negative people that you know that they are not saying anything positive once you tell them you are in Saudi Arabia. Try by all means.
stay away from such people don't allow them to put fear on you because it's not going to be easy that is just what i want to say here because this <laughs> the fear is real like once they started putting the fear on me it wasn't easy for me i know what i passed through before i just have to leave everything unto god that when i should just leave all this thing and see maybe till when that time comes then i will see what will happen and alhamdulillah today nothing like that has ever happened since i'm here so if you are ready to work here in saudi arabia try and avoid negative people stay away from negative words that people are saying that ah, saudi arabia is this Saudi Arabia is that. Just say it to your own self. I will, my own won't be the same with those people. Not that those people, even if it's true that it happens to people, you and that person is not being destined the same. Just stay away from negative negativities. That's just what I want to say on this video. Thank you guys for watching. And please, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please do now. Oh, before I forget. So guys, thank you guys so much. We've hit 1,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. Thanks so, so much. I really appreciate. And please, if you've not subscribed to this channel, please do that now. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Don't also forget to share this video and give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about this video. See you on my next video. Bye.